public domain film fans, if there are any of you, and if there are, please get therapy soon. I am Rex Underwood Jr., beloved film star of the 1960s and 70s. Thank you. Thank you. Sit down at home. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Joining me as co-host for our film festival, Spanky the Gorilla. We co-starred in many films together back in the 60s and 70s, and you always got top billing, but that's okay. I'm not hurt. I'm okay with that. Kill him. We are going to be celebrating Arbor Day today. That's why we're here. These films are to commemorate trees, which is why we, we are here in this very realistic looking forest with this very realistic looking tree that we bought at the, uh, I think it came from Walmart. And uh, we're gonna celebrate by chopping down uh, a big old wooden tree today. You wanna take a whack at the wood? My head is not wood. Put that thing away. Our first film today is a little treat from Abbott and Costello. You remember them? Did you work with them? No. They were a comedian, a pair of comedians from the 1950s who uh, did just silly things and ran around and screamed a lot. And this one is a film called Jack and the Beanstalk. And we selected it because it's got a beanstalk in it and it's as close to a tree as we could find on a film that cost us nothing. So uh, Abbott and Costello sing and they dance and they really get on our nerves. So get ready to be irritated as we enjoy the first film in our Arbor Day Festival, Abbott and Costello starring in Jack in the Beanstalk. Enjoy. Wasn't that a fantastic film? Didn't you just love that? Wasn't that an okay film? It was a nice way to pass a little. It was in focus. Anybody? It was in Okay, close enough. It was free, so don't complain. We are celebrating a little Arbor Day festival here of fabulous public domain films. I am Rex Underwood Jr., beloved movie star. Thank you. And joining me, my co-host is Spanky the Wonder Gorilla. We starred in many films together back in the 60s and 70s, and we were, we were almost as popular as Abbott and Costello. We were almost as popular as Abbott. No one cared. But hopefully you do, because I've got a new album. I want you to take a look at it. It's themed for Arbor Day. It's some wonderful songs. Of, oh, hang on, am I too close? How about this camera over here? Is this the one? Can you see? How about over here? Well, wh where do I? Hold, hold. There. There's the album. There's the album. And it's full of songs about Arbor Day. Some, oh, I wrote these songs. They're gorgeous. Your skin is like pine bark. You really should moisturize. The roots of our love run deep. And yours need touching up. How about, baby, you're a clinging vine and you're choking me to death. Seriously, I can't breathe. <coughs> mm -hmm. Well, all those and more are on this album. Look for it at truck stops near you. You'll, you'll enjoy it. You really, or it makes a good frisbee, too. Stay tuned, another movie's coming up, but first, this. Welcome back to Public Domain Theater. I am Rex Underwood Jr., beloved movie star, here to celebrate the fabulous holiday of Arbor Day. And our next film is a little something called Bride of the Gorilla. And yeah, Bride of the Gorilla. Yes, you're in it. It's one of Spanky the Gorilla's most famous roles. He plays the dual role of a, a gorilla, yeah, I know it's a stretch, and Raymond Burr. Yeah, back before Raymond Burr was Perry Mason, he, he played a guy who thought he was a gorilla. Somebody put a hex on him, and he gets all crazy and runs around the jungle, and then there you go. And, uh, and you with the stunt gorilla, were you? Stunt gorilla in that? You don't remember anything about it. You used to drink a lot. Is that the problem? Okay. Well, Spanky is in here somewhere as we enjoy Raymond Burr, that's right, Perry Mason, as a gorilla in Bride of the Gorilla on Public Domain Theater. Oh, that movie was full of green things, wasn't it? That was a fun little Arbor Day movie there full of jungle plants and trees and Raymond Burr and gorillas and oh it just did sang to me. Hi, I'm Rex Underwood Jr., beloved movie star of the 1960s and 70s. 
And joining me here is one of the stars of that film. It is Spanky, the Wonder Gorilla. You were really good in that, even though you don't remember doing much of it. Was Raymond Burr easy to work, work with, or was he a, a hothead? He was, you don't, you don't remember anything about it. Yeah, but the check cleared, didn't it? Speaking of which, I could use your money for my brand new Arbor Day album. Please take a look at this so you'll recognize it when you go to the store. It is, oh, well, that's not it, hang on. How about over here? Can you see it here? If I put it over there, it is Rex Underwood Jr.'s Wood Pulp Magic. There's fabulous songs on here, new songs in honor of Arbor Day. For example, the forest is green, just like your teeth. I sprayed for termites, but I forgot to spray for you. And also, our love reminds me of the mighty oak, and so does your wooden leg. All of these songs and more are on this fabulous album, which you can pick up at truck stops near you. So please grab one. Grab two if you like. Steal them. Somebody take them. We'll be back after this. I won't lie to you, that movie was awful. It was just horrible. It was, it was like two bad movies for the price of one. They just kind of spliced some junk together. And there was no Bigfoot in it. There was this, uh, this creature with a paper mache head, that looked like a pinata, maybe a pinata monster. And there was you running across the road for about two seconds. And that was it. Not much of a tribute to Arbor Day, though. Oh, there was that lumber stuff. And cutting down trees is what Arbor Day is all about, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to keep that too yourself. I have a brand new album I would love for you to purchase next time you're in a truck stop. It is full of fabulous songs about the lumber industry and about trees and wood. There you, where, can, can you see it here? How about there? Can you see there? It's called Wood Pulp Magic. Please, please, it contains such great songs. It contains such great songs for the holidays like The Forest is Green and So Are Your Teeth. I sprayed for termites. I should have sprayed for you. And this is one, this one really, really, ooh, hello. This one really touches me. Our love reminds me of the mighty oak. And so does your wooden leg. They're all here for your enjoyment on this fabulous one album set. Look for it when you are filling up with gas. There you go. Happy summer, everyone. Happy summer, I am Rex. Underwood Jr., famous movie actor from the 60s and 70s, and I'm here to host our little public domain film festival. And joining me, as always, Spanky the Wonder Gorilla. We made so many great jungle films together back in those days. I looked pretty good in a loincloth back then. I looked better than I do now in a loincloth back then. <laughs> What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Oh, no, that's right. I've got your teeth. <laughs> the comedy never stops. We just have so much fun here. Our next film that you're going to enjoy, whether you like it or not, is something called, oh, what is it? The Creature from the Haunted Sea. It's a Roger Corman cheapie, and it's about these people who are in a boat, and a guy thinks he's uh, Humphrey Bogart. He does a bad impression, and it turns out there's a monster haunting the sea, but it's not really a monster, of course. It's just some guy pulling a scam, and that's what we're going to see. Oh, it's going to stink. It's going to be awful. So get ready and enjoy on Public Domain Theater our little summer treat for you. Enjoy. That was a fantastic movie called Creature from the Haunted Sea. Didn't you love it? Aren't you glad it's over? There you go. I knew we'd, I knew we'd hit pay dirt after a while. Hello, I'm Rex Underwood Jr., a love movie star. Joining me co-hosting this festival of films is Spanky the Wonder Gorilla, Kiss the Cook, Subtle Hint, ladies and, and gorillas, lady gorillas, anyone with a gorilla suit, come on down and pucker up. Well, as summer continues on, I think we could make the season last longer if you buy my album of all new songs about summer. Here we go, Summer Beach A Go-Go from me, Rex Underwood Jr. Great songs on here like, You're So Hot, Your Spray Tan Drips. How, how about, have you considered an eight-piece swimsuit? I'm just saying. How about, I, I have enough sand in my swimsuit to make a cat litter box. Would you like to hear that all year long? You could if you buy this little album. It's available at record stores. <laughs> there aren't any record stores anymore. It's available at truck stops near you. They still have trucks, don't they? Okay, good. All right. 
Bye. Bye. Happy summer, everyone. I am Rex Underwood, Jr., beloved movie actor. Thank you. Thank you for caring. Mwah! And joining me in our festivities celebrating summer is Spanky the Gorilla. Yes. We starred together in many, many films in the 60s and 70s. Would you like to name a few? Yeah, no one would remember them anyway. But they're all on videotape if you'd like to watch them. They're not on DVD or streaming, but, but they are on VHS tape. And we are here at the beach. Really, we are. And we're celebrating summer by grilling out. What are we cooking? Bananas. What a shock. Mmm, little grill marks on there. Oh, yes. Or, or bruises. It's hard to know which they are. Yeah, well, whatever. Well, we are going to celebrate by showing you a public domain movie, which means it costs nothing. And uh, you'll believe it once you take a look at the horror of Party Beach. Here's what to look for. This movie is about uh, this beach town where all these uh, swinging teenagers in the 60s dance until a giant monster comes and kills them all. And they keep coming back to the beach, even though there's a killer on the loose. It makes no sense at all. And this is a nice little thing to check out. The lead actress, all of her lines have been redubbed by somebody. So when she moves her mouth, it sounds like somebody else talking because it is. So please enjoy the horror that is the horror of Party Beach as we eat some bananas. Grilled bananas. Mmm. Wasn't that a thrilling movie, an incredible celebration of summer called The Horror of Party Beach? And it was truly a horror. Not so much party, but full of horror. We're here at the beach, this lovely public access beach, which looks so natural and real, to celebrate the holiday season. What are you grilling there? You got some more bananas? Right? Ooh, I love a good grilled banana. Mmm, not too done. Yeah, it's pink in the middle. <laughs> I am here also to pitch my brand new album for summer. It's the kind of album, look, you can see right through it. Look at that. It's in 3D. It's called Rex Underwood Jr.'s Summer Beach A Go Go, full of wonderful songs I've written in honor of summer. I think, I think even you will like some of these. For example, your hands are like the beach. Girl, you need to moisturize. There's another song, you know you've tanned enough when you're mistaken for a glazed ham. The Summer of Love the autumn of ointments, and many more. All you have to do is look for it at a truck stop near you, ask for it by name, Rex Underwood's Summer Beach A Go Go. America, sweet America. Welcome to Public Domain Theater. It's our special summer celebration. I am beloved movie actor Rex Underwood Jr. Mwah! Kisses for all of you. Please dub in lots of applause here. Okay, thank you. And joining me as co-host Spanky the Wonder Gorilla. We are out here grilling. He's got his Kiss the Cook apron on. You better pucker up, monkey boy. The women is going to be lining up for your bananas. Insert your own joke here. So as we get ready to celebrate summer, I hope you enjoy this. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Ah! <laughs> woo, woo, that's hot. I hope you enjoy this next film we're about to show. It is called, what is it called? Night Tide is what it's called. And it stars, it stars, where am I? It stars, it stars Dennis Hopper. Ever heard of Dennis Hopper? You have? Okay, yeah, he turned out to be somebody. I don't know. He made some movies and stuff. And he plays this guy who falls in love with this woman at a sideshow who's a mermaid. Well, it turns out she might actually be a mermaid. <gasps> Shocking, ain't it? Well, you'll just have to stick around and see if it's true. It could be just a figment of imagination. Oh, by the way, the movie is made by... Uh, I'd love one. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's made by Roger Corman, so you know it's especially good. Please enjoy our next serving suggestion on Public Access Theater. Wasn't that a fabulous movie? A fabulous, fabulous, it wasn't that a movie? 
It was, it was in black and white, so there you go, there's something for you. Hello, I'm Rex Underwood Jr. and we are celebrating summer here at the beach, doing a little grilling out. What you cooking there, Spanky? Ooh, got bananas, mmm, grilled bananas. They are so tasty. And we're also here selling my new summer album. That's right, I got a new one right here. Take a look at this. You see, it's in 3D, you can see through it. Isn't that crazy? A lot of great songs about summer on here. Humidity applies for a zip code. That's a pretty popular song I just recorded. How about Lard, the Sunscreen of the Extra Crispy? Would you like to hear me do that one? How about, I don't know how your head got there, but my car is not a convertible. You like that? Okay, there's one more. Pennywise the Clown in Beach Blanket Bozo. They're all on here, whether you like it or not. Look for it at truck stops near you. It is, it is time for us to take a break. La la la, just walking through the woods. La la la, I'm off camera now. La la la, walking through the woods. Why, I didn't see you there. We'll get back to our Arbor Day film in just a moment. But look who I've spotted in the woods. It's famous author and uh, tree expert, Yule Gibbons. Well, hi, Rex. I am noted author and tree expert, Yule Gibbons. Yes, you are. Yeah, uh, did you know that many parts of a tree are edible? You mean like nuts and berries? Silly boy. No, the limbs and the bark. Oh, well, you see, you have a bowl full uh, of them well, right there. Breakfast, you know, champions, my friend. Do the pine needles get in the way? <laughs> it's nature's dental floss. Oh, <laughs> get away from Try me. That. Try I that. think we've learned a couple of things today. Number one, don't talk to weirdos in the woods. And number two, any idiot can write a book. Yeah, I'd get out of here if I was you. Bye.